Hi, uh, welcome back. Um, this video is actually a little bit different. It's about this Chevette project which has been going on for a few months before we started at the van. So the video has just been sitting there and I wanted to get it finished off um, and then we'll be back to the van as normal. So there's a little bit about the Chevette. Right, so in this one we're going to take a look at this um, little uh, Vauxhall Chevette I've got in for a guy. Um, don't know the story with it. Uh, it's uh, apparently it was a runner, but it hasn't been on the road in years. And uh, it's a neat little car. Uh, he just wants me to get it up and running and bring it back to life. So uh, we'll take a look. Uh, get it cleaned up for now, and hopefully moved into the shed out of this uh, or in this weather. Right, so here we have it. Little um, HRS replica. I'm not really a Vauxhall person. I Neat little car, um, late, very late 70s, I think. Um, some vital components missing. It's also lying on the ground there. Uh, there are no rear brake drums. Uh, I can't open the door. Uh, I can't get in the other side because it's too close to the trailer. Boots locked. Uh, engine I can't. Uh, little four cylinder, not sure what it is, I think it's a 1300. Um, that all looks actually fairly complete, but then there's a disconnected fuel tank lying in the boot, so uh, yeah, we'll uh, get it cleaned up first of all and uh, maybe dragged inside and I'll take a look over things, see can we get some fuel in this and get it fired up. Okay, so we've given the Chevette uh, once over and figured out all the bits and pieces that it needs. Haven't had a go at starting it yet. Um, I'm going to get everything done beforehand. Um, brakes need a full rebuild. Discs, calipers, all the brake lines, drums, cylinders, the whole lot. Um, going to do all that because it's got to be done. Car's going to be got running one way or the other, um, regardless of the engine. So. Um, exhaust needs putting together, just got the seat, seats in mounted, uh, subframes were wrong, so they had to be altered. Um, engine, everything seems okay. Um, there's no cooling fan, going to use an electric fan with an electric switch on it, uh, with a in-pipe switch. And... Yeah, just waiting on parts now. Um, might start rebuilding the two front calipers. Uh, rebuild kits and front pads have come for those, so I can get started on uh, giving those a full refurb.
Just uh, tidying up a few little jobs um, that are left underneath here. Um, I'm going to check the rear diff oil. Uh, springs seem to be coming out of the spring seats, so I'm going to have to have a look at that, but I've got them back in there for now. Torsion bar back on, all the new brake lines hooked up. Um, got one exhaust mount to do on there as well. But, uh, Right, so I haven't attempted to do anything with this yet really, um, just got a battery hooked up there over the side, it's a big battery, um, got some fuel in the tank, the tank's all plumbed in now, uh, I don't have coolant in it or, uh, or an alternator belt, but um, we'll give it a shot, see if it fires, um, hasn't been started in a good few years as far as I know, um, haven't checked it for spark or anything yet, I'm just going to give it a try. Very sluggish starter. Um, have a little mess around with battery battery connections and stuff. Okay, so I put an earth directly to the engine now instead because the the body earth must be crap. Um, I don't know if it has a choke. It must have some kind of choke. There's no choke lever. Is there?
you thinking? Yeah, you know. Definitely better. various things right and Sorry, mess with the ignition timing a little bit right so we spent ages messing around with the ignition timing and firing order etc uh, got it starting and running fairly well just it's racing like crazy so I'm trying to wind down the idle a bit uh, have no water pump belt on here I have put coolant in it but uh, I don't want to run it for too long um, and the manifold's smoking like crazy burning off stuff. So try to adjust this throttle a bit.
so the sun came out for a bit so I just got it out in the yard to um, do the ignition timing and stuff just set that up there but just see the timing light close Now I'm sorry the video for that wasn't a bit more involved, but it was done on a lot of stormy, miserable days um, where just filming would have just been impossible in here in the middle of January or early January. Um, I had hoped to get it out of the shed this evening uh, while it was a dry day, um, but by the time I got home it's now pouring rain again, so unfortunately I can't uh, take it out for another drive or... Uh, look any more at it outside in the daylight um, it's going to be staying here now we're going to get on with cosmetic more cosmetic work on it uh, but that was the initial project anyway was just getting it up and running and back on the road uh, as for other videos uh, it'll be back to the t25 as normal uh, later in the week and the commons build videos their boat's going to be launched in about two weeks time with any luck so we'll be doing sea trials on the Cummins Marine engines as well. Um, so they'll be coming up in the next few weeks too. But uh, yeah, it will be back to the C-25 on a regular basis after this. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and that'll help it out a bit. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what else comes up as well. Cheers. Thank you. Um, I'd also like to take the opportunity to apologize for the sound quality on the videos um, I will work on that soon uh, it's just can't be a priority at the moment uh, I'll look into cameras and microphones etc over the summer if I'm going to be continuing with these um, it's just not the time of year for me to be spending money on cameras etc when there's so much chance going on at the moment so well but I will make improvements I realize sound is a bit of an issue but we will work on it okay thank you